Let's do uh, more examples about stereoisomers. Say that I have a question asking me how to classify two different uh, molecules, whether they are the same, are they constitutional, or they are um, stereoisomers of the type cis-trans. So we're going to give you um, more molecules. And for that, we're always going to do this checklist. To be isomers, then they will have to have the same molecular formula. Then stereoisomers also share the same connectivity, but they have different uh, spatial relationship of the group. Something in the space is different. So um, let's look at two molecules now. This is... Now, checklist, as we said. Let's analyze if we have the same molecular formula just to see if they are isomers or entirely different molecules, right? So here, this molecule will be C4. And notice here I have CH2, 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 CH2. So two hydrogens in each of the carbon. So that's eight and then O. Here I have, remember the line structure. Each um, a vertex here, that's a carbon. And you need to complete four valences. So here, this is the CH3. That's another CH3. So in total, I have one, two, three, four carbons. So C4. CH3 and CH3, that's six. And CH2, that's eight. And I have an oxygen. So same molecular formula. Are the atoms not connected the same way? They're not. So because they are not, these two are related as constitutional isomers. Okay, so we're going by the checklist, let's say. Now let's do a couple more examples here. Um, let's do this molecule. Okay, checklist, let's do molecular formula, one, two, three, four, and five, C5, and now counting the... Um, Hydrogens, this has 10. You can do that, so it's 3 and 3, right? And uh, 6 and 2 is 8, 9, 10. And same thing here. So this is C5H10, so check mark, same molecular formula. Now, uh, do they have the same connectivity? Now we're going to number the atoms in the chain to see if the double bond is in the same position, let's say, to find out about the connectivity. So here, I'm going to do carbon one, two, three, four, and five. And here I do one, two, three, four, and five. So actually, these two are molecules are two pentene. So in two, is saying the position of the double bond. It starts here at carbon two. It's between two and three, two and three. Pent is a prefix for five carbons, and ENE is the termination for alkenes. So two pentene. Now, let's look at, we check, same molecular formula, check, same uh, connectivity in regards to here, the position of the double bond. Now, is the relationship in the space, same thing? Oh, now let's analyze, um, the structure here in this carbon, I have a hydrogen, and I'm gonna erase that so that I can draw hydrogen, right? So that's my carbon three, and here again, I'm gonna need to erase those because I'm going to add the hydrogen atoms. And what I want you to see is that here the two hydrogen atoms are pointing to the same side of the double bond, whereas here they are not, they are opposite size. Or you can also say that here, um, comparing the, the chains, we have in this molecule, we have a metal group and an ethyl group pointing to the same side. And here the metal and the ethyl are opposite sides of the double bond. When it's two over there, right? So these two molecules are different. They are stereoisomers of the type cis-trans. This here is called the cis, and this is trans. And the complete name of the molecule will be, in this case, will be 
cis to pentene. The smaller Q here will be trans to pentene. Um, no, and let's do one more example to see. We're doing the checklist and see what they are. Uh, one more couple of molecules here, another example. And see, I have now, let's do this two drawings. And this drawing. Well, they might look different, right? Let's see what happens. So here we have one, two, three, four, and five. So that is a C5H10. Same thing here. But now we we look, it might look like uh, it's different, but notice actually that this is two metal groups. And in this molecule, we have metal and metal, and so is here. Let me just erase this cycle. So, this molecule is actually the same, two different drawings. If you think this is, in this carbon, you have two identical substituents, and here you have a hydrogen. So, you don't, I simply, and in, in fact, if you could, let's do one rotation here. You could, this is simply um, the drawing rotated that way. So they are the same. Okay, so that's uh, how you would analyze when you are comparing two molecules and you're trying to decide whether they are the same molecule, constitutional isomers or stereo isomers. And in the case, what we have studied so far is a stereo isomers of the type uh, cis-trans. We're going to... Um, Next, we're going to study more type of stereoisomers, a different type other than cis-trans.